Welcome to the Northwest Iowa Community College Computer Science Program. I'm about to show you how to open Visual Studio 2010 and make a new empty council project. First, we're going to go down to the Start button on the left hand corner. Click on it, left click go to all programs so you're going to show all pro all programs then the scroll bar left click and hold down on your left mouse button and scroll up and down until you see Microsoft Visual Studio left click on Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 move down a little bit and then click on Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 submenu again. Visual Studio should now open up. You'll see that right now you have the start page. Okay, There's nothing in the Solution Explorer. These are past projects that were created, so we're not going to be concerned about those. What we are going to do is click on File, New, okay. Now we come over here to New Project. Left click on New Project. Microsoft Visual Studio will open up another window and there you're going to choose Visual C++. We're going to be programming in C++ for this particular video. Okay, So make sure that's selected. Then come over here to where it says Win32 console application. Now it may be somewhere else, you'll have to look through it, use your scroll bar to find it, but it'll say Win32 console application. Left click there. Okay, now make sure that'll select it. The next thing we need to do is make sure we give our project a name. Okay, so we highlight, or you can just start typing in here either way. This first box which says name. Okay. Now in there I'm going to put test 1 just as uh, because I'm showing you this as an example. T-E-S-T-1. -E That'll be the name of the project. Notice that Microsoft also names this entire solution, in other words all the files that belong to this project, will be put into a solution called test 1. Now this right here, this box here, is where you on your hard drive or your flash drive or wherever you want to store it, where these files will be stored. Okay, You can browse and go pick out where you want this project to be stored. Next, make sure that you have the checkbox that says create a directory for the solution. Okay, You do not have this one checked. Leave that unchecked. Where it says add to source control, just uncheck that and leave it unchecked. Okay, Now we're ready to go from here. Again, make sure you have Visual C++, Win Console 32 application. You've given it a name. It'll automatically name the solution. And make sure you're storing it where you want it to be stored. Make sure the checkbox for Create a Directory Solution is checked. And uncheck this second box here. Say OK now. You click on the left click on the OK button. It'll pop up with another screen. Okay, You can then go Next. Now here, this is important. You need to make sure that console application is selected right here. Also, you need to we're going to be making an empty project with nothing in it because we're starting from scratch. So check the box that says empty project. Now those two things are very important. Make sure you do those. Okay. Finally, now we can say finish. Okay. Microsoft Visual Studio will come up, it'll show you that it has some categories of types of files. There's your solution right there, test one, okay, or project, okay, and you're ready to go.